Hello once again, folks. I am Wild Man Wes. I'm Hefe. And welcome back to day seven of What's Your Poisons? 24 Beers of Christmas. We are starting to finish off week one of, what, three, four, four weeks? Something like that? Yes. There's, there's, there's so many beers still. I mean, but you know what? It's not like we're impatient or anything. Let's open up the next beer. All right. Okay. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do we got? Oh. It's a teeny guy. It's Jungle Boogie from Mars. Mars. Jungle Boogie. Okay. Wow. Oh. Is it not like a variation on Jungle Boogie? You know, no. I think it's just regular. I mean, I saw Jungle Boogie at the the store the I'm, other day. I'm sorry, but Mars, do better. I'm sorry. I haven't had Jungle Boogie in no, a while, okay. but yeah, exactly. Jungle Boogie has been around since Mars has been around. This is one of their staple beers. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of personal history with Mars. Uh, I ain't gonna say I'm not gonna like it, but I haven't had it in a while, so. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do? We're gonna drink Not it. only is it That's four pounds, but it's Jungle Boogie is what it is. You know, it's like, all right, let's see how that goes. So, Jungle Boogie. Bow, bow. As what they say is a pale wheat ale with rooibos tea. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, rooibos tea. Uh, it's interesting. It's definitely unique. Uh, it's going to have a lot of uh, unique characteristics. Sorry, I'm just not impressed with this beer. Like, I, I already know just from not even drinking it. Okay. Um, Pale wheat ale. So another pale wheat ale, as people might know, might be say Lagunitas, little something something. That's everybody, what everybody enjoys a little something something. Here's the thing, Jungle Boogie is one of Mars' core beers, which means that this is something that you can find all year round anywhere you go. No. <laughs> Every pack is going to have those beers that you can find anywhere. You know. Ah. Smells a little like oh, like papaya. Yeah, like papaya and mango kind of. Okay. Smell, it smells again. It smells overly. Sweet. It's been a while since I've had this. Let's be real. Same here. I'm just I'm just a little uh, underwhelmed with the I, selection. I, 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 guess, I guess this is kind of a welcome back moment. Yes, yeah, like a retrospect. Yes, yes, yes. It's better. It's fruity. Oh, it's actually, a lot more fruity than I remember. Yeah. Huh. Well, pineapple in there almost. Okay. It almost has tastes been, like a mead almost. Yeah, I, you know it has been a while since I've had this. Okay, um, Mars. Sorry. I'm still not gonna apologize. This is a year round. <laughs> this is a year round no, beer I mean, that you're offering us. So, so, like, sorry, sorry that we're dogging the flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, like, more or less, it's we're used to you know each you know brewing company giving us something that we're not used to, Special. something that's new, yeah. or that's a, a limited. You know. Like Salamoth. Salamoth, yo. Come on, that was really good. Yeah. Anyway. Was not expecting that. No. But, uh, okay. So, overall takeaway from this beer, let's see. Uh, Sweet, a little bitter. I honestly hate the term pale wheat ale. I would prefer them to just call them what they are, and that's just a hoppy wheat ale. Don't say pale. You know, pale just makes it sound like it's going to be light. It's not really light. It's more medium in body. Yeah, I mean... Um, but it's it's a hoppy, so it's a bitter, sweet, fruity ale. Um, just uh, say what it uh, is. Honestly, it's weird. I, mean, I hate pale wheat ale as a style. I think it's dumb. I think I, just well, call I, it a hoppy wheat. I think they were trying to go with some sort of consistency with meat. I don't know what it is, but it's just... No, it's those fruity flavors, yeah, for sure. I mean, no, I get it. And, and I mean, I, I'm not... I'm not trying to dog it, but at the same time, I'm not trying to promote it. It's just, I mean, it's it's good, but it's not great. No, I agree. I'm, I'm going to give it just a nice. It's it's nice. nice. Yeah, let's see. Whatever that fuck. Yeah. Nice. It's nice. It's nice. I mean, it's nice. You know, yeah. thanks for the beer. You know, thanks for the beer, Mars. Uh, but I'm like, I'm, I'm not sitting here like, oh my god, yes. And, and, and nowhere even near that. 
I won't have what he's having. Nah. No. I don't think most people would if I... If I, if I look like this all the time. No. Exactly. Uh, anyway. Wild man's gonna pass. Hard no. Hard no, he says. Alright, hey, so well, the beer. <clears throat> yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, it's tasty, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, the good thing is we still have, you know, 17 more beers left, so... You know, we'll find some more. You did math really quickly there. Yeah, I know. This is what I do. Anyways, we hope you enjoy this episode. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you didn't agree with our opinions on this beer, leave a thumbs down. We totally understand. Other than that, we make sure that you share on social media. But most importantly, it is the time of giving. Please push that little red button and ring that holly jolly bell for instant notifications on Dragon Fire Entertainments. Until then, I'm Wild Man Wes. Not that We will see you tomorrow for day eight. Watch your poisons, 24 beers of Christmas. Stay tuned.